independent group. And Kate Dorshi, I want to thank the Count Corner because I've asked for this debate in Business Committee for the last 18 months and he's been facilitating this debate. And just to remind Deputy Tobin, we might be a political party, but we've been fighting this issue uh, a long, long time. And I fought every business committee, but thanks that we have it here today. According to data from General Register's Office, GRO and RIP.E, Ireland has experienced a significant rise in excess debt since 2021. Uh, 2021, an increase of 14.8% translating to 4,600 excess uh, debts. Uh, 2022, a spike of 18.4%, amounting to 5,700 excess RIP. And so sad, one debt is one too many. 2023, so far, up to September, rising 19.4%, 4,500 excess debts. And in total, there have been 15,000 excess uh, debts since 2021 and 2023 so far. So that is alarming. And a preliminary analysis, analysis of these debts shows that uh, excess debts for August 2023 in Ireland are at 21.1%. Uh, so there's something wrong here, Minister. And I'm very disappointed, Minister, nothing personal whatsoever, that the Minister for Health couldn't even bother to come in here. I've raised this here in the House more times, and the Minister, no answers. He would go to the CMO and come back. Nothing, just ignore it. You can't hide your head in the sand and say then the general minister for agriculture didn't deal with this. It's, it's an insult. I know where the minister Hilde got knocked on earlier. As I said, in September, 19% is above normal. So this is a shocking figure. Eurostat figures for Ireland, uh, the, EU, the EU average for the 12 months of July 2022 to 23 showed that Ireland is above the EU average for every month bar one, July 2022, when our rate was 16.4%. Since January 23, Ireland is exceeding the EU average every month at ever increasing in cost. So look, we have to have an inquiry here. We know the bedlam is going on in health. We see what's happening in the, in the a and &E's. We see the cutbacks all over the place, embargoes now again on recruitment for people at home helps. Do our people not matter to you anymore? We want an international independent inquiry into these debts, alongside an international independent inquiry into the way COVID was handled. So I'm saying that, and our group are saying strongly, we want an, ind an independent inquiry, not by the usual suspects that they come in or retired eminent justice or something. Somebody from outside the country will be fair, objective, and, and, uh, and discreet. Thank you.